All right, so today we're going to take a look at planning basal into a nutrient flow technique system that I built this last time with my aquaponics system. Uh, with nutrient flow, uh, you have the plant sitting in a PVC pipe with holes drilled throughout. The plant sits and allows the water to flow over top. As you see, I'm doing right now, I started these seeds in the greenhouse, uh, so I'm trying to break up all the dirt that I started them in, uh, washing it out. It's important to get all the dirt out so that the water doesn't get clogged up in the PVC pipes. On my system, I'm using about a four inch uh, diameter pipe. So I've got quite a bit of room before it actually gets clogged up, but you still want to make sure that just as much of the dirt out of it as you can, just so you don't get any clogs. So once I have all of the dirt washed off the roots, I'm going to double check to make sure I got every little piece off. Uh, the hole that I have drilled in the NFT pipes is not that big, so I need to make sure that the roots are as small as possible to fit through there. So now that I have them nice and clean, I'm going to move over to the NFT system. And you can see there the holes that the plants are going to be fed through. And as I was saying before, with this system, the water flows just directly over top of the roots. Then the, that's what provides the roots with the nutrition that they need. So I'm going to carefully poke it down through, try not to break any of the roots and in order to hold it up once I get it down through there um, instead of just letting it sit because sometimes it will pull down through I have these little squares of it's like a rubbery material it's actually an old yoga mat that was being thrown out so I cut a slit in it and I just slide it over the stem and once I slide it over the stem it'll hold it there and stop it from falling down into the system even more So, as you can see, it's as simple as washing dirt out and putting the roots through and putting the clamp on there. And I'll just keep doing this and add some more basil plants in here.